Hi, my name is David Walston, and welcome to my weekly news show. I am a CPA, and I give my opinion on uh, different financial news stories I find. And of course, the opinions I give are not meant to be financial advice. So let's get right to it. In business news today, um, I wanted to talk about Tesla. So I think it was a couple weeks ago I talked about how Elon Musk was potentially taking Tesla private and what co what benefits um, cost-wise that would provide. And it looks like today, or not today, I think a couple of days ago, Elon posted on a, his blog on Tesla's website that he is keeping Tesla pr um, public. And he gave a couple reasons for that. Um, first was he talked to his current shareholders and they said that they would rather him keep it public. And so he that was one of the main contributing factors. And the other one was after talking to some other the big hedge funds, hedge funds? No, the investment firms. Thank you. <laughs> um, it would be it would take a lot more work than he had initially expected to take it public or take it private. But he wanted to note at the very end of that blog post that he did have the funds available. So um, I'll link below in the description um, the, the link to his blog post so you can read the details. But the one thing I wanted to talk about a little bit with that is I think Elon Musk is a bit of a marketing genius. Um, all this news and discussion about whether Tesla should go private or, or stay public makes me wonder how serious Tes uh, Elon was about taking to Tesla public or if he was just trying to get the media attention away from um, Tesla's production and quality issues with their new Model 3 and focused on something else. And so, <laughs> to his credit, whether or not he intended to, I think he might have a little bit. Um, for the last several weeks, they've been talking about whether Elon wanted, could or would take Tesla private instead of whether or not Tesla is miss meeting production goals or quality are still having quality issues. So I think he's done some really good marketing for his business, whether or not um, he took it private. And then on to some software news. Zero, um, one of the best online accounting, cloud accounting pro platforms, released new pricing and will no longer be providing its own payroll service as of November well, payroll service as of December or December 31st, and then all the new pricing goes into effect November 1st. So, if you take a look at that, these are their new pricing standards. So, before price zero's pricing, let me go to that real quick so you guys can see. Yeah, that was the old one. So this is their old pricing structure. They had the starter for nine dollars, standard for thirty dollars, and then the premium for seventy. And as you can see, the starter was, was very limited. Um, standard included five employees for payroll, and then premium, you could add 10, and then you could go up from there, and your cost would increase as well. Under the new pricing structure, they've renamed them all. Standard is now early, same price, same stuff. I mean, starter is. Standard is now called growing at $30, same price, but no longer includes payroll. And then premium is now called established and is now $60 instead of $70. And it includes Zero's new expense software and project software, but also does not include payroll since they're no longer providing that. And then if you scroll down the page a little bit, they have a little blurb about Gusto and payroll. So since payroll, uh, Zero will no longer be pro providing payroll in-house, they have partnered with Gusto and for $39 a month for one employee and then six additional dollars for each extra employee, you, you can set up payroll through them and they have a very good in integration with Zero. So Zero is one of my favorite um, cloud accounting partners and I recommend them a lot of people. And I think there were some issues that Zero had with their, their in-house payroll service and I think Gusto, it will be a ton better. It does cost a little extra, which is a little disappointing, but it is better. So. I'll include the link to their new payroll, new pay pricing plans in the description down below. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or s shoot us an email at info at wallstonadvisoryfirm.com for um, help or any questions you might have. And then the last thing I want to talk about is things we're doing here at Wallstone Advisory Firm. Um, recently, we, or last week, I, I released a new, a new special 
separate from this about the new state and local income tax cap and what different states have been trying to do to get around that. And then the IRS recently re released some updated regs, pretty much discounting all those things the different states were trying to do. So if you haven't seen that, go take a look at that. I'll have a link in the description below. And then we will be releasing a new blog post on Friday about starting a new business. I think we're on step five. And I'll link last week's blog post below too. So follow us on social media to keep up to date on those things. Um, that wraps up the news today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of the stories I talked about today in the comments below. Let me know if, if you, sorry, let me know if there's any new stories you would want a CPA's opinion on or just mine. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's episode. Thanks.